Chapter 15, Multiple Integrals The multiple integral is a definite integral of a function of more than one variable. For example, f of x, y defined on a two-dimensional region or f of x, y, z on a three-dimensional solid. The chapter begins with double integrals over rectangles and consider general regions, uh, including regions in polar coordinates. Then we'll uh, consider some applications of double integrals and move to triple integrals. We'll deal with cylindrical coordinates and spherical coordinates. Finally, uh, in this chapter, we'll study change of variables in multiple integrals. In modern scientific and engineering applications, the multiple integrals can be computed by using change of variables uh, more easily and more conveniently. Sometimes you have to use one of these techniques to get the integral. Okay, let's go to section 5.1, double integrals over rectangles. Here we have a recall, which is a review on double integrals of uh, functions of one variable. We defined the integral in terms of Riemann sum. We first find the area underneath the curve, y called fx, by dividing the area into rectangles, and uh, like this, and function from a to b is defined, and this is graph, and we. Uh, divided the region 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we choose a point from each sub-interval and uh, get the height from the function. And this rectangle uh, is considered, an area of this rectangle is computed, and we sum them. Uh, that is the Riemann sum. And the exact area can be found by evaluating the limit of the Riemann sum. And we use the notation uh, here, integral a to b, f of x, dx. We also can get the definite integral using the fundamental theorem of calculus, part two, once you can find capital F, uh, uh, an antiderivative of F, uh, then you can evaluate uh, the antiderivative at edge point and find the difference, and that's the answer. So we can get it in this way. Okay, for double integrals, we'll uh, do the same. Basically, the idea is the same. Now, rather than interval, we consider a rectangle, and in x direction is a to b, in y direction c to d. Uh, you can see here, the below that is a rectangle, the region R, and we uh, divided the uh, rectangle in x direction, in y direction. In x direction, we have m subintervals. In y direction, there are, okay, in, that is x direction. In y direction, there are n subintervals. Uh, and we name the points xi, yj. And each subrectangle is called rij. That is ith in x direction chase in y direction. Okay, now let's SR 
is the solid under the uh, surface that is z equal uh, f of x y that is z equal f of uh, x y okay underneath the surface and over the x y plane and we consider the solid we'll try to find the volume of the solid and in order to do that for each sub region we try to measure the bottom area and take a point inside the sub uh, rectangle and measure the height and that is a local approximation of volume and this volume for each rectangle will be uh, added so that is Riemann sum this Riemann sum uh, is a good approximation of real volume so exactly we are using the same idea for functions of one variable here we have the definition of uh, the double integral of f over the rectangle r double integral over r f of x y dA rather than dx dy we write down dA that is um, area component now that is linear in each direction in x direction y direction we try to make serve intervals more and more and for each sub region we measure the volume local volume and add them this is the Riemann sum and limit once the limit exists then we say the limit is the double integral of f over the rectangle r so the double integral is the limit of Riemann sums okay. okay this one is saying that uh, once we are choosing uh, from each sub rectangle uh, we are choosing the upper right corner then x i j star y i j star will become x i y i so that we can write in this way a little bit um, simpler with a little bit simpler notation okay let's try to solve a problem estimate the volume of the solid that lies over the square uh, in x direction 0 to 2 in y direction the same 0 to 2 and below the elliptic paraboloid divide r into four equal squares and choose the sample point to be the upper right corner of each square r i j now along with this uh, Riemann sum will try to estimate the volume okay now the domain is given here uh, a square in x direction is from 0 to 2 in y direction again from 0 to 2 now the problem is uh, saying that we make that um, for equal serve interval and we'll try to choose upper right corner from each uh, um, rectangle so at this point that point uh, that one and that one okay now this is uh, one one this point x is one y is one that is two one point and this is now uh, one and two and this is a two and two so the Riemann sum mm, must be here f at this point so that f uh, one one and area okay for each sub rectangle to here delta x is one and delta y is one so delta x is one and delta y is one so that delta a is 1 times 1 which is 1 right 
So we have here multiplication 1 plus f now 2 1 uh, times 1 plus f okay that point and again go this point this is now 1 and 2 and plus uh, of course we have to multiply 1 now uh, f uh, 2 2 okay so uh, from this one you can get okay from now on uh, f of x is y is given in this way so you can get the answer quite easily uh, from this uh, computation. It requires a simple algebra, so we'll get uh, 34. Okay, that's the final answer. Let's go to uh, this problem. Now we'll try to use midpoint rule. Estimate the volume of the solid that lies above the square. Okay, let's try to visualize region R. In X direction, that is from mm, 0 to 2. In Y direction, is from 1 to 2. So it is a flat rectangle. Now, that is in X direction from 0 to 2. In Y direction, from 1 to 2. Okay. And below the function f of x, y is given in this way. Divide r into four equal rectangles. Okay, so we divide this rectangle into four equal rectangles. So that will be 1, that will be uh, 3 over 2. And choose the sample point to the midpoint of each uh, rectangle r, i, j uh, approximate the volume. So we have to choose this midpoint, uh, this midpoint, midpoint, uh, midpoint. This arm, um, okay, that one in x direction is one half, in y direction that is 30 over 2. Now that is in x direction, okay, 1 and 30 over 2, so that this height is 5 over 2. And that height is, uh, oops, that must be 4. And that must be 7 over 4. Okay. okay. Now, delta x uh, is 1 and delta y equal half. From this one, delta a is, the multiplication is 1 half. Okay, so the Riemann sum is, okay, for each point, so the area, delta A, is the same. So we put this one outside, and then we, we have to get the value, function value, f at x direction 1 half, y direction 5 over 4, and second one will be uh, f x direction 3 over 2 and y the same 5 over 4 and plus f at mm, 1 half and y direction okay that is a 7 over 4 and finally f at 3 over 2 x is 3 over 2 y is now 7 over 4 okay for along with the given function, you measure these quantities and sum and now multiply half, then you'll get it. Okay. Also, it requires a cumbersome algebra. Rather than doing it in detail, let's write down the answer. If you do this computation, you'll get 1. Okay. For this problem, we'll try to find the exact volume in problem 15.9 uh, below. Okay. Okay. This is the end of part one. We'll continue uh, in the second part. Thank you.